You have such an awesome room, Susie. Thanks for having us all here to hang out. Sure, no problem. This way we can play on the slide and get coins for it to bring us snacks. Woohoo! So, we were all going to talk about some goals, right? Well, my goal is to invent a spaceship that can travel faster than light by bending time and space. Sounds more like a movie to me. Well, what's your goal? I'm going to be a princess. Yeah, right. That's so much better. Whatever. Well, excuse me. Hello, everyone. How are you, Miss Susie? Oh, fine, Cointreth. Thanks for the snacks. My pleasure, Miss. Cointreth, what do you think about a goal of getting presents from the toy store to donate to kids who can't afford toys? But that would be splendid. Hey, that's a good idea, Penny. We could buy some toys and sell them to neighbors at a profit and donate all that money. And we can also ask for donations. I'm sure Daddy would donate. I think this is a smart goal. Remember, we learned about it in school. Definitely wasn't paying attention. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Rewarding, and Time Specific. Interesting! It does meet all the criteria. We have a specific goal of getting toys to donate for disadvantaged kids. We can measure it by tracking how much we can donate. It is achievable if we work at it. Definitely rewarding to help other people and it will be time limited by the season. You kids are an inspiration. Yeah, let's go to Sensible Toys now. Hi, kids. I'm afraid we're not open right now. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole all the money in the cash register. Oh no! How awful! Look! What's that on the ground? That's odd. Here's an empty purse and there's a tie. I remember a man and a woman, all dressed up. Came in earlier. Man had a mustache. I bet it was Robbie and Stella Banks. They have stolen from us tons of times and they almost always use disguises. Well, we've got some donations from neighbors. We can use that money to buy some toys to sell and some to donate. What do you think? I've got a big donation from Daddy. Why don't we keep his money to buy the toys for the kids and use the other money to get toys to sell? Good idea. But where do we go to get the toys? The toy store's been robbed. It's opening again soon. We can go tomorrow. Guys, there's someone up in the treehouse. Wait, I'm going to sneak up and scare them. Careful, Barry. Hey, it's Froppy and Stella Banks. Susie, go call Sergeant Case and the rest of us will stay at the bottom of the tree and talk loudly so they won't come out. What was it you called our goal to donate toys, Penny? Smart, because we are making a specific plan that will work and pay off for us and others. Right, that'll be good. Oh, hey, why is money called dough? That's illogical. No, it's a joke, you nerd. Come on, why is it called dough? I don't know. Because you need it! Ugh, that's as bad as your jokes usually are. So, who saw Robbie and Stella Banks? I did. They're still up there. We stayed here to make sure they don't come down and run away. Good work, Barry. Now all of you step back in case this gets dangerous. Robbie and Stella Banks, you are under arrest for breaking into sensible toys and stealing. Come down from the treehouse. That's not us. You've got the wrong people. Come down so we can see for sure. Sure, you'll see we aren't Robbie and Stella Banks. This should be interesting. Maybe it isn't them. Do you make a mistake, Barry? Hey! Nope, it's them! Good work. We'd have gotten away with it if not for you, meddling kids. I closed the store for a bit to come see you kids get this award. Thank you so much for helping catch Robbie and Stella. Thank you for donating all those toys and selling us a bunch at half price. We can definitely reach our goal now. 
All of us here in Casual are very proud of you, Penny, Susie, Barry, and Sense, for assisting in the apprehension of the criminals, Robbie and Stella Banks, and for your generosity in donating so many toys for the disadvantaged kids. You are a shining example of the best of our youth. Thank, Thank you. you! This episode helps kids understand the power of setting SMART goals. We do not achieve what we want because we have never been taught how to set SMART or realistic goals. Hard work alone is no guarantee for success. We must learn to work SMART and know how to efficiently utilize our available resources. People often dislike what they can't get but seldom try to find out if the goal was worth achieving. It is important to set worthwhile goals, something we are willing to work for. The greater the value of the goal to us, the better the chances of success is. To hit a mark, you must aim a little above it. That doesn't mean you start aiming so high that it's beyond your reach. Set smart goals and you'll achieve success. <laughs>